Hi everybody, here's Riccardo Fasoli. I make another small uh, tutorial about uh, this transition that I used uh, in the film of Mervyn Nils. What are this transition? It's, it's only a solid that cross uh, the, the frame and, um, and uh, revile the, the clip after without having a, a, a big jump. So it's for example, between these two clips uh, I have uh, here, uh, when I've done this shot, uh, I had um, a tent in front uh, of the camera that I moved a little bit. Uh, and as we see, um, this is uh, already a beginning uh, of, uh, of this kind of transition. But if I go to the, from this clip to this one, there's a uh, there's a jump and I would like that this uh, this solid here, this, this stand, it will go over the, the, the full frame, over the frame and, um, and here I would like to have the same but I don't have it here. So I try to create something that is a little bit similar and this transition I've done it in motion. Uh, for example, from this clip to this clip, I would like uh, that uh, the solid go from right uh, to the left uh, and it goes out here. So here I've done it, uh, after I show you how I've done it, uh, but I put it here, inside, uh, and uh, if we see now, there's this solid that goes from one part to the other. I can make it a little bit uh, longer. So let's see. Here yeah, I've done something a little bit complex because uh, I'm more than one solid that cross uh, the frame. And here I can change the color. Here it's totally black. Uh, I can make it that is the same color of the stand, like this. We see it a little bit less, huh? and here it is. So, how to do this? This kind of uh, transition. It's really easy. The only thing what you need uh, is uh, motion five. So oh, let's go in motion. Motion five. You can uh, buy it uh, in the Apple Store, and it costs I don't know. I think 40, 40 euro or something like this. It's a powerful tool. I'm really a beginner in this um, in this software, but uh, when I try to when I when I can, I try to play with it. So let's go in motion and let's try to create this this simple transition. So here is motion. I make uh, new, and uh, in um, in this window. Um, there's already they, they suggested what 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 you want to do and here there's final cut transition more easy than this and I open it and what I have here is a project is a small timeline where there are two clips so a b now what I need to do is to create this solid that cross from one part to the other so let's make it here bigger I put here 25 percent like this I, I can see more and really easy now I create a solid create a solid here it is I go to the inspector and here I see the solid um, next step uh, is about this solid there's a really strong edge because it's really <laughs> it's a solid like a paper over it and I would like that this is really soft but it's it's blur there's a, there's a blur so I go here and see there and I put it down here there's minus 100% and I see that I'm not really happy with it I would like much more softer so I go much more softer Oh, like this already it's something that I can work with it now I select the solid I can see it press the arrow 
and uh, now I can see how big is this solid and how I make it uh, bigger because for me really important that uh, it fill all the frame so let's see like this now I see that it fill completely the frame okay now what I've got to do is uh, a small animation um, so I bring it uh, completely out of the frame I like to turn it a little bit like this now now I have this button here this is it create it record the, all the movements the movements what I will do when I will press it so now if I press it everything what I will do here in the timeline line it will um, in, in the project it will record so here and I'm at the beginning of the of the timeline if I go to the end and I move the solid to the other side we see that uh, there's created this line this line is uh, is is the movement of the of this solid that is all record automatically now if I press it out because I don't want to move it anymore I want to control the movement so let's see perfect to feel completely the the frame and this is exactly what I want okay here it is now here I change the color in black and uh, really important for me it's uh, uh, it is that I can uh, change the color one time in the in Final Cut so I press publish this means that this kind of section of uh, of this transition I can change it I can I can publish everything but uh, what I need is it's only this um, next step is to put it in uh, Final Cut so file save as I call it uh, call it uh, transition test tutorial <laughs> I put it on my folder that is transition cool and publish and here everything is done now let's go to final cut and we'll see how how it looks this one I wait one second that uh, is loading the let's see if we find we'll get to find it here in the here it is Transition test tutorial. Um, let's delete this one and let's put the new one. As I as I can see, it's a little bit small, and um, this means that uh, I've got to make it uh, a little bit bigger. But now you understand how to do it. It's 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 really easy. And here now I have this the same option like before I can change the color of it I can put it how I want so like this we have it that is a little bit more gray yeah that's it I hope that you like it let me know uh, subscribe to the channel because I'm I'm planning to make other tutorials and um, yeah, have a nice day.